If you want to see how I made these banana pudding cupcakes, keep watching. I started with some vanilla wafers in the bottom of the cupcake liners. Now to make my vanilla pudding, I use one can of condensed milk, two and a half cups of cold water, and a pack of Jell-O vanilla pudding mix. making sure all of the water and the milk blend evenly with the pudding. So I moved on to using a whisk, a wire whisk, so I could get all of the lumps out of the pudding from adding the water and the milk in. of heavy whipping cream in a bowl and I'm just using my hand mixer to mix it all up. I need to form stiff peaks so I'll be mixing for a while. mixing on low speed and just going around the bowl steady not too fast not too slow just at a regular medium pace and just trying to get the peaks to form so as you can see I've been mixing for a little while and the whipping cream is starting to get a little more thick in consistency so I'm just gonna keep going chill while I got the whipping cream together in a bowl so I'm just going to take it and fold it into the pudding now. Fold 
than this whipping cream into this pudding is no joke. You will definitely give your arm a good workout, but the end result is so worth it. in a circle it's definitely not going to be the neatest circle so don't be afraid if it doesn't look the way you think it should but you're just going to cut the center out center of the cupcake and just give it a little light squeeze and fill the cupcake up to the top with the vanilla pudding. I'll be pouring some of that in a little dish so that I can dip the banana in it before placing it on top of the cupcake. This helps to keep the banana from browning so fast. You know, when you make banana pudding, the bananas always get brown really fast and it just doesn't look appealing. So if you dip it in a little bit of lemon juice on both sides before you use the banana, that will slow down the browning process. another piping bag with a different tip and I filled it with some more vanilla pudding and I'm just going to swirl it on top of each cupcake. And the final step is to 
take your crumbs of vanilla wafers and sprinkle them on top of all of the cupcakes. Final product, they look so delicious. Thanks for watching.